the F-117 Nighthawk. Even the name sounds like something out of science fiction. But this was no mere figment of imagination. This was a machine of war, a technological marvel that redefined the very nature of air combat. As the world's first operational stealth aircraft, the F-117 possessed an almost mythical aura. It was a ghost in the machine, a whisper in the night sky, capable of penetrating enemy airspace undetected, striking with pinpoint accuracy, and vanishing without a trace. The F-117 wasn't just an airplane, it was a statement. It declared to the world that the impossible was indeed possible. It shattered conventional thinking about what an aircraft could be, what it could do. The very existence of the F-117 challenged the laws of physics, seemingly bending the rules of radar detection and rewriting the book on aerial warfare. But the F-117 wasn't the product of magic or wishful thinking, it was the culmination of decades of research, engineering and sheer determination. It was a testament to the power of human ingenuity, a shining example of what happens when brilliant minds come together with a singular audacious goal. To make the invisible visible, to give form to the formless, and to conquer the night itself. The F-117 story is tied to radar evolution. Radar revolutionized warfare creating a cat and mouse game. Traditional aircraft were visible to radar, stealth required defying physics, geometry was key, flat, angular surfaces scattered radar waves, materials also mattered, radar absorbent materials minimized radar signature, the F-117 became a ghost in the machine. The F-117's distinctive angular design, often likened to a hopeless diamond, wasn't just a matter of aesthetics, it was a radical departure from conventional aircraft design, dictated by the unforgiving demands of stealth technology. Every edge, every facet, every angle, was meticulously calculated to minimize the aircraft's radar cross-section, the measure of how detectable an object is by radar. The smaller the RCS, the stealthier the aircraft. This unconventional design, however, came at a price. The F-117's faceted shape created enormous aerodynamic challenges, making it inherently unstable and difficult to control. It lacked the smooth, streamlined profile of conventional aircraft, generating more drag and requiring sophisticated flight control systems to maintain stable flight. In essence, the F-117 sacrificed speed and maneuverability for stealth, a trade-off that would define its operational capabilities. To compensate for these aerodynamic challenges, the F-117's design incorporated a number of innovative features. Its wings were larger than those of comparable aircraft, providing increased lift and stability. It also featured advanced control surfaces including elevens, which combined the functions of elevators and ailerons, and a V-tail, which replaced the traditional horizontal stabilizer and rudder. These design elements, while complex and unconventional, were essential in taming the hopeless diamond and making it fly. The F-117's origins trace back to black projects, hidden from public view. Post-Vietnam War facing Soviet missiles, stealth became essential. Evading radar was a necessity. Lockheed Skunk Works led the quest, creating advanced aircraft designs. Here, the F-117 was born, shrouded in secrecy. The project began in the early 70s, with Have Blue, testing stealth principles. Have Blue's success paved the way, proving stealth's reality. The F-117's development was secret, unknown to most, a world of code names and tireless engineers pushing boundaries. The first prototype flew in 1981, marking aviation history. The impossible became real. Section 5, Baptism by Fire, The Nighthawk Takes to the Skies. The F-117. Nighthawk's operational debut was as shrouded in secrecy as its development. The aircraft's existence remained highly classified, hidden from the public eye and even from most of the military. It wasn't until 1988, six years after its first flight, that the United States Air Force officially acknowledged the F-117's existence, sending shockwaves through the defense community and capturing the imagination of the world. The Nighthawk's first combat mission came in 1989, during Operation Just Cause, the U.S. invasion of Panama. The aircraft's stealth capabilities proved invaluable in neutralizing Panamanian air defenses, allowing U.S. forces to gain air superiority and secure key objectives. However, it was the 1991 Gulf War 
that truly cemented the F-117's place in military history. During the Gulf War the F-117 played a pivotal role in Operation Desert Storm, the US-led air campaign against Iraqi forces. Operating under the cover of darkness, the Nighthawk penetrated heavily defended Iraqi airspace with impunity, striking high-value targets with pinpoint accuracy. Its stealth capabilities rendered it practically invisible to Iraqi radar, allowing it to operate with near impunity, delivering devastating blows to Iraqi command and control centers, communication networks, and other critical infrastructure. Section 6. Taming the Beast, Overcoming Aerodynamic Challenges As we've established, the F-117's radical design, while essential for stealth, came with inherent aerodynamic challenges. The aircraft's faceted shape, designed to scatter radar waves, created instability and drag, making it a handful to fly. In essence, the F-117 was a compromise, a delicate balancing act between stealth and aerodynamic performance. To address these challenges, the F-117 relied heavily on a fly-by-wire flight control system. Unlike traditional aircraft, where the pilot's controls are mechanically linked to the control surfaces, the F-117's flight control system was entirely electronic. Sensors constantly monitored the aircraft's attitude and position, feeding data to a computer that made constant adjustments to the control surfaces, keeping the aircraft stable and on course. The F-117's flight control system was so sophisticated, so ahead of its time, that it paved the way for similar systems in later generations of aircraft, including the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. It was a testament to the ingenuity of the F-117's designers, who not only overcame the aerodynamic challenges of stealth, but also laid the groundwork for future advancements in flight control technology. Section 7, Beyond the Horizon, The Limitations of Stealth The F-117 Nighthawk, for all its technological prowess, was not without its limitations. Its stealth capabilities, while groundbreaking, were not foolproof. As radar technology advanced, so too did the ability to detect and track stealth aircraft. The Nighthawk's reliance on stealth came at the expense of speed and maneuverability, making it vulnerable to more agile aircraft in a dogfight. The F-117's limitations were starkly revealed in 1999, during the NATO bombing of Yugoslavia. An F-117, operating over Serbia, was shot down by a surface-to-air missile, marking the first and only combat loss of an F-117. The incident sent shockwaves through the defense community, shattering the aura of invincibility that had surrounded the Nighthawk and highlighting the evolving nature of warfare. Despite its limitations, the F-117 continued to serve with distinction, playing a valuable role in the US-led invasion of Iraq in 2003. However, the writing was on the wall. The Nighthawk, once at the cutting edge of military technology, was becoming increasingly vulnerable and outdated. The future of air warfare belonged to a new generation of stealth aircraft, like the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II, which combined stealth with speed, maneuverability, and advanced avionics. Section 8, A Legacy Forged in Innovation The F-117 Nighthawk's retirement in 2008 marked the end of an era in military aviation. The hopeless diamond, once a symbol of American technological might, was relegated to museums and airshows, its days of soaring through the night sky a fading memory. But the Nighthawk's legacy extended far beyond its service record. The F-117 was a testament to the power of human ingenuity a shining example of what happens when brilliant minds are given the freedom to push the boundaries of what's possible. It was a game-changer, a paradigm shift in military technology, proving that stealth was not a pipe dream, but a viable and devastatingly effective tool of warfare. The Nighthawk's impact on aviation extended far beyond the battlefield. Its development spurred advancements in computer-aided design, material science, and flight control systems, technologies that would go on to revolutionize not just military but also civilian aviation. The F-117's legacy, therefore, is not just one of stealth and secrecy, but also of innovation and progress. Section 9. The Enduring Spirit of the Nighthawk The F-117 Nighthawk may be gone, but its spirit lives on. It lives on in the hearts and minds of the engineers who designed it, 
the pilots who flew it, and the countless others who were inspired by its audacious design and its legacy of innovation. It lives on in the stealth technology that continues to shape the landscape of modern warfare, in the advanced aircraft that patrol the skies today, and in the dreams of future generations who dare to challenge the impossible. The Nighthawk story is a reminder that the greatest limitations are often self-imposed, that the impossible is often just a matter of perspective, and that with enough ingenuity, determination, and a willingness to embrace the unknown, even the most audacious dreams can take flight.